The most popular impression of Texas is that of a land of trackless plains, sunrise to sunset stretches of hardy grasses, cactus, and chaparral that feed its myriads of longhorn cattle. The land of the doge, boots and saddles, the land of the last roundup. Its mountain areas are a comparatively unknown glory. In the northwestern section, cutting Randall and Armstrong counties, is a superlative scenic attraction claimed to rank second only to the Grand Canyon of the Colorado as a natural wonder of its kind. It's a canyon approximately 75 miles long, from 600 to 800 feet deep, and from one to three miles wide. 15,000 acres are being developed here under the Emergency Conservation Work Program as Palo Duro State Park. Civilian Conservation Corps labor under National Park Service direction has accomplished unusual results in this unusual country. This lodge for park visitors is so designed as to appear only as a rearrangement of the majestic rocky masses which rim the canyon. It hides itself in the wall, a good example of the Park Service's policy of disturbing natural beauty no more than is necessary. prosaic but no less interesting from an engineering standpoint is the switchback Coronado Trail which the Conservation Corps has built from the rim to the floor of the canyon. In keeping with the character of the surroundings all construction work at Palo Duro is massive. Stones used in the buildings are big stones and this means quarrying on a major scale. crossings are constructed on many of the park trails across which travel is possible at most seasons of the year. Proper drainage is accomplished by the construction of numerous so-called dry culverts, that is stones laid up without mortar or cement. 